Hello everyone, it is Lauren coming at you today with a birch box and an Ipsy unopening for August 2015. So I would I thought, you know, you know, why don't we go ahead and just do this video? Just go ahead and film it for and film it for you today. So this is the birch box. Super cute box this month. It's like a pool. Super freaking cute. I love it. So the theme this month for Birchbox is called Soak It Up. As summer peaks, temp-wise and watermelon consumption-wise, we're taking advantage of every last minute. That means embracing air-dried hair, ensuring our skincare is, is SPF heavy, and keeping our makeup minimal. We hope you love this month's sample and can't wait to see how you use them. Here's to making the most of summer's last gas. Team Birchbox. So we're going to go ahead into the products. The first product I got is from the brand Balance Me. This is a congested skin serum. You're probably thinking, serum? This actually is a British... <laughs> I was looking at this when I got it. It's a British-based acne spot treatment. But, you know, if you want to use it as a serum, it probably will work. But I got this. This full size is for $30.00. It's a calming spot treatment that fights blemishes, refines pores, and balances out skin without drying. So, can't wait to try that out. Next one is the Orbe Apres Beach Wave and Shine Spray. Full size is $22 to $39. Okay, my thing is weird. But um, this spritz delivers beachy textured waves plus it hydrates summer dry hair and boosts shine. And it smells good too. That's the best part. And the next one is the Shea Terra Organics Rose Hips Black Soap Deep Pore Facial Wash. God. <laughs> so this cleanser, full size is $16. With African black soap and rose hips oil, this 100% natural fragrance-free wash leaves your face leaves your face refreshed. As you can tell, I don't really like the smell of this because I think it smells like gasoline. Just me. So, the next product is from Saint Tropez. This is their gradual in tan shower. Full size is $25. This convenient, innovative self tanner delivers buildable color for a natural looking glow. Apply evenly and and circular motions to damp, clean skin, wait three minutes, and then rinse with warm water. That's the tip they have on there. I'm not a big fan of tanning products, so this might go to someone else. The next product is from the Balm Cosmetics. This is the Balm Desert Bronzer Blush in the shade Take a Dip. Full size, it's $21. It's a blush and bronzer in one. This velvety powder gives a long lasting fresh from the beach glue. Next, we're going to go into Ipsy. So the theme this month for Ipsy is prep school. Love the hound's tooth printed bag this month. So I'll show you what I got in that. I got the Beauty Without Cruelty Premium Aromatherapy Leave-In Conditioner. I like products that you know don't test on animals. It smells good. I actually like that. Mmm. <laughs> Anyways, the next product is from Jessie's Girl. This is the eyeshadow primer. I don't wear eyeshadow very often, but I will, you know, try it out. Maybe it'll give me to wear eyeshadow again. The next product is from Hakari. This is their lip gloss in the shade Salsa. So, I'm not a big fan of lip gloss, but I'll try it out. Next, from Starlux Pro, this is the Lux Longwear Eyeliner Pen. You guys also know, along with, you know, I don't like tanning stuff and lip gloss and eyeshadow. I don't like eyeliner either, so this might be given to someone else. And the next product is from Scone Cosmetics Lux Doubler Wine Eye and Lip Pencil. I don't wear dark colors, but, you know, it's the first time for trying new things. So anyways, that is pretty much today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Be sure to subscribe and yeah.
I'll link everything down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.